Hi everyone, it's Gail again. I'm doing this look today which is using my Bare Minerals Velvet Pigments. They're all matte pigments. Um, I love using pigments. They're bloody messy but <laughs> I think the effects will work. Uh, it's very basic. I'm only going for a coffee with my dad and my sister. Um, so if you want to see how I've done this look, then please keep watching. Thank you. Bye. Hi everyone. I'm going to have a wee go with my Bare Minerals pigments again. These are all the velvet pigments that I got in a wee set. And I just transferred them into one of these wee stackable things. So... Oh, I've got here in my eye. I'm going to use this wee sample of the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer that my daughter got when she bought the... What was it called? Oh, the Smoky Palette. Can you remember that? So, I'm just going to use this. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm not really in a major makeup mood. Uh, what's that one called? Velvet Mauve. Right, I'm going to take a bit of tissue sitting here so that I don't spill everything. To start with, I'm going to take this colour here, which is called Velvet Cream, and this is a Real Techniques Dulux Crease Brush. And we'll just put this all over that primer. I love pigments. Especially these ones because they're matte. one on over kind of all over the cover and I'm going to take this crown brush that I don't know the name of and go into velvet mauve so it's a Cool tones, kind of light brown. The thing about pigments is, you cut such rough pigmentage, funny well. You really need to tap off the brush first. And we'll just put this in our crease and onto the outer corner. I'm just going to meet my dad and my sister for a coffee. something on. I think this might be a bit much. I can't remember when I got these pigments. It was either last year or the year before. And they were in a wee set in this lovely box but they were all jammed in and they all had the same lids and you couldn't see what the hell was what so I decided to decant them and so we had a wee touch more on the other side remember always put something down when you're messing with pigments because mess is the right word 
I think it matters how careful you try and be. I just kind of get everywhere. Velvet wildflower. So that's a kind of purpley, purpley colour. I'll take my Mac 239. And just sweep that and that out a bit. That really showed up. Right, and for our dark colour, we will go into Velvet Espresso, which is really, really, really dark brown. And um, your hands get covered as well. So keep a wee towel handy. Back into my 239 just on the clean side. Kind of looks like that. Give my wee brush a wee clean on the towel and then gently blend that. And I'm just doing a wee, wee circle movement. And then we'll just start bringing this in a wee bit. Okay. And let's put the lids back on some of these. I'm going to take a wee flat brush and go back into the first colour which was velvet cream just to put another wee bit back in there because we're kind of lost a wee bit of that in the blending I'm just gently using this brush to kind of blend as well. Okay, okay. I'm just going to screw these back before I knock them all down. And Right, 
just so that I don't have um, pigment all over the place. I don't think there was much filling out there. If you tap your brush off really well, it's, it's all good. Right, I'm going to use my Bits number 7 foundation because I think this is about the latest foundation I've got. And I'm so pale just now. So I've already just cleansed and moisturised like... If you watched my skincare video, you would have seen. And for powder, I think I'll just use my L'Oreal Infallible. And this is a big eco, no, so eco powder brush. I can't even be bothered with. What do you call it? Concealer. My back is absolutely breaking today. Right, some of my Freedom eyebrow -y stuff. So that one went on alright. This other one went, of course. Why is that? Do they look nearly similar? Similar enough to get a wee bit of outside. They'll do. They'll do. For blush, I'm going to use my Anna Sui blush. It says Rose Cheek Colour N301. So it's got a few nice colours in it. And this is another so cool brush. It's a blush brush. And when I just mix all these together into that middle one that's got the highlight a bit in it, I don't even need highlight. Although it is a bit glittery. But Bit much there, so I'm just got my foundation brush and blend it out a bit. I'm going to use a wee bit of my Urban Decay D De Slick spray, give it a good shake. See if that keeps me shine free for a wee while. 
uh, for lippy i think i will no 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 colors are tony it's a a, a jordana easy liner for lips in the color tawny so I'll just put this on our whole looks oh I meant to use I've got one of these um, when I first got that I'd put it I'd look sucked in my whole top lip and ended up black and blue that's so silly right and then on top of that I'm just going to use my Clarins instant light natural lip perfector balm I just got a colour. Uh, I think the colour might be 06. I think this was one of the darkest ones. It's kind of toffee colour. I don't know if I said this already. It smells like toffee and I don't like the smelly things like that. But it is lovely. Right, eyes. Cut all my lashes. And then decide what mascara to put on. What's that? Jordana, Jordana Fish Slash Extreme. I'm really into matte colours on my eyes now. I know it's a fact that the that shimmers make crinkly eyelids crinklier, but sometimes I do like a wee bit of shimmer, but mattes seem to be my thing at the moment. And the pigments are just lovely. I think there's 12. So there's a lovely little mossy khaki green. And like a deep kind of grey blue and things. So. But I don't think I want to do anything to my bottom lashes. Just in case my eyes water and end up with everything down my face. So I think, is that me? Mm -hmm. See the band in my extension there? Let me find that. Mm -hmm. So I've just put my fringe up my wee quiff to do and done my usual wee twirly things. With the ends of my hair, I've got an on jumper, a pair of pretty mark jeans, oh, and if I can maybe lift my leg up, e, 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 a wee pair of brown brogues. These earrings that I got in the summer from somewhere. 
Beverly Island or somewhere. So look at wee bits of gold and silver and orange to go in the top. Uh, so that's me, I think. I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry it was so long. I don't know if it was just me blathering or working my pigments or whatever. Oh, do you like my nails? I painted them last night. Because you can start to see the wee join where the you know, mines are growing out. So this is... It's a latent any kind of neutral colour. And then over the top of that, it's Seati Antique Brooch. And it's absolutely... I was only going to do it in one nail, but they were so nice looking that I didn't know that. So it's a kind of gold and pink sparkly glitter. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!